What are the new drugs for relapsed refractory AML? Which are some promising drugs in development? So the question is, what are the new drugs that are coming up, approved, or in the near horizon for patients with uh, relapsed refractory acute myelogenous leukemia? One of the things that we are trying to do, and not only us, many investigators across the globe are trying to do, is can we combine some certain things that can be, um, that are already in the, in the market? Say, for that matter, can we add to the backbone of a hypomethylating agent and venetoclax, right? In a more appropriate mutation context, if somebody has an IDH mutation, we can potentially add an IDH inhibitor. Those drugs are available. They're approved as single agent, but these are commercially available drugs. So you can potentially think about a triplet, right? For FLT3 mutations, you can add giltertinib or midosterone. Again, you think, can think about either combining that with chemotherapy or a backbone of a hypomethylating agent and venetoclax. So now you can think of triplets. So that you can do with the existing options that are there, right? But then the other question is what are in the horizon now, right? We are somewhat optimistic about uh, drugs. Uh, class of antibodies mostly targeting CD47 pathway. That's one of so-called it me, not it me signal kind of pathway. Uh, at least the early studies are exciting. Whether they truly pan out, we have to you know wait and see. The other class of uh, drugs that are very, very exciting are so-called menin inhibitors. So the particular translocation happens uh, involving the long arm of chromosome 11. And in that context, the menin inhibitors as a single agent are providing a very high response rates. Uh, now, the durability, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, whether in the long run do we need to add something else to these many inhibitors to make the response last longer. That we'll have to see. But many of these patients, when they respond, now at least they're a candidate for a stem cell transplant. Whereas before, uh, if they relapse, they were pretty much refractory to all other treatments. So their chance of going for a stem cell transplant does not exist. So now in this you know, new scenario for these particular patients with uh, what we call the MLL gene rearrangement or chromosome 11 Q re rearrangement, these patients are responding very well. Now, other few groups of patients that are responding reasonably well to the, the menin inhibitors are patients with maybe RUNX1 mutation or NPM1 mutation, the patients who have relapsed disease. So that's, that's a lot of excitement uh, in, um, in the community because it's a very targeted, very scientifically driven agent, and it's delivering what it promised in the laboratory, right? The others are, of course, antibody drug conjugates, either antibodies targeting CD123 um, or, you know, CD33, where we are combining that with um, like a payload, like a chemotherapy kind of a payload, so that they can kill the cells that express this particular proteins on the surface. Now, the other thing that we are also doing is trying to bring in the immune system into the treatment sphere, right? Where the the T cells or the immune cells are also engaged in fighting the leukemia cells. So what we call the bispecific T cell engagers are coming into the field. We have, at least scientifically, uh, it's very exciting because you're not adding toxicity by adding a more intensive chemotherapy, but using harnessing the immune system to, to fight. In the space of acute lymphoblastic leukemia or space of, say, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, the strategies have been very, very successful. Been less successful in AML, but again, you know, uh, relatively it's new in the AML arena, so we are very excited about that. And finally, of course, the, uh, the cellular therapies, CAR T cell therapies or CAR natural killer cell therapies uh, that are coming up. We are very excited because particularly the natural killer cells, um, the 
chances of toxicities that we tend to see with CAR T cells, we tend not to see with the natural killer cells. Uh, so that can open up a you know, whole new field. But these are you know, very, very new and very emerging fields, really. Thanks for watching. By creating a HealthTree account, you can get exclusive access to the latest HealthTree University content, track your course progress, take notes, and bookmark lessons. Visit the links in the description below to get started.